Hey, you guys. I guess this is the start of a new vlog. A lot has been happening and I haven't been able to pick up any type of camera, so bear with me. <laughs> if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're old and we here, we OGs, thank you for coming back. Okay, so I'm currently doing my nails. I took my nails off, look, okay. Ooh, that's what we're doing. Okay, so first things first, I recorded the first episode of Adina's Advice, and it was really good, but I realized at the end that my camera lens, somehow, some way, I don't know, it broke. Okay, so I took it to Best Buy. And Best Buy was like, oh, it's going to take six to eight weeks to replace. Why is it going to take six to eight weeks to replace a lens? You probably got one in the back. Go get that lens and go put it on this camera. Why are y'all doing that? Anyway, 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 I wasn't about to keep arguing with them because that's just the devil trying to discouraged me again already already because i've been doing so much and i've been actually being obedient again and we moving forward everything's moving so fast and everything's been good it's like oh the devil has to come and do something so i was like no i'm not gonna let that discourage me so for right now i'm just gonna be using my phone and i'm gonna just have to remember to pick it up <laughs> but um so yeah that's that so whenever they replace it or if they give me a credit to get another one We'll be back in action. But for right now, this is what we're doing. Um, I went to the orthodontist because, as y'all know, I had got the crown lengthening surgery like a month ago. And everything's good with my gums now. So the orthodontist said, basically, I just need to do one last round of the Invisalign. So the little gaps now, because everything was perfect um, when my gums were, you know, in, enlarged. But now that, you know they're where they're supposed to be and they show the teeth that's supposed to be showing. Um, they have to now close those. It wasn't bad, but they still want to close. If I'm paying all this money, it need to look perfect. <laughs> it needs to look perfect. So yeah, so doing my last round of that. So that's why I have this Invisalign and that's probably why I'm talking like this. I'll probably talk with a lisp. I hate <laughs> hearing these. But they said it would be 20, 20 weeks. So... That's just a couple more months. Probably said the summer, like July. So it is what it is. I've been doing this for two years. So it is what it is. I'm just happy that it's almost finished. And I still love my teeth even without these. So I know it'll be good. Um, so that's that's another update on the surgery and the teeth. So that's that. But yeah, I'm going to show you my nails after I'm done. And then later on, we'll check in. Okay, y'all, I did them. Um, I haven't had long nails in like forever. Forever. But you know. My man said, look, this is the one I want. He picked it out. So uh, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. But they cute though. They came out good. Hey, you guys. Okay. I'm back. And we're cooking. Okay. So Bay is coming over and he's about to do a project for me. So I said, the least I can do is give you a home cooked meal. Okay. So what do you want? He said he wanted salmon and shrimp. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make some homemade uh mashed potatoes and i got some collard greens over there so i've already got the shrimp i already cleaned the shrimp um debanged it all of that and i'll put it in this um seasoning uh mix so that's been in there for like an hour and then i already did the salmon too so it's been marinating as well um i gotta cut up the potatoes but everything else already has the chicken broth and the oil and the collard greens already going. So, yeah, we're going to get it moving. We're going to get it moving because we're ready to eat.
We at the Crazy Mason. It's a milkshake bar and an ice cream shop. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's all. That's what I said. That's cute. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is. Ooh. So I got what's this thing? The cookie, the cookie mash up. Sweet, what you get? Sweet Jesus. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are we going, babe? Uh, We're going to go see Eric Bellinger. It's one of my favorite artists. I don't know the nigga. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun because I'm gonna be screaming and hollering the songs. And I'm just gonna be standing there. They're just gonna be standing there, okay? But I got the yellow on. Only did this for him, okay? Come here. Come here. Because he had the yellow on. Okay, look at it. Oh. with the yellow okay so anyway i'm gonna check in with y'all what later and i'm gonna get some clips okay cool yesterday about coming on the show um and doing a segment and so we're on the way there now and babe is gonna get some behind the scenes clips for me so yeah stay tuned thank you okay we're here we got our little badges he did too so we're waiting for them to take us back Thank you. Great to see you. Okay. How you been? Yo, 
daylight saving time starts this weekend. And even though we lose that hour of sleep because we jump forward on Sunday, that means the days are getting longer and we will have more sunlight. And so we have to talk about how those shorter days can affect our mental health. But what about the longer days? Adina Godet is a licensed clinical social worker with ThriveWorks in Charlotte. We are going to chat through it with her. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You know, we do. We hear a lot about seasonal depression yes. and in the winter, why that mm -hmm. really is such a thing. Right. So as we get in, we're getting closer to spring, what right. really is the mental and physical effects that this time change has on us? Yeah, and it's a good question because a lot of people only think it's the fall and winter daylight savings that affects them because of the seasonal depression. But people forget when you are taking an hour away, mm -hmm. you're losing sleep and lack of sleep can definitely mess up our internal. All right, are we on break? We're about to go get a salad. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I love the people here. They always compliment. Okay, so. Okay, so. <clears throat> got my salad. <clears throat> I couldn't even keep recording because, okay. So, I'm a regular in there. Like, I come over here to South Park where my office is um, twice a week. Monday and Wednesdays, right? And I usually always go to Chopped for my lunch um because i'm trying to be fake healthy anyway <laughs> um so they know me in there they know me and so um when i but i haven't been there in a couple weeks not because i wasn't eating you know salads but i really wasn't eating in general or i was bringing my lunch with me to work so i go in there and you know the lady's talking to me but i had to turn the camera off this girl was fussing me out she was like where have you been <laughs> i was like well, dang, I was just trying to save some money. Like, just, just, that was it. That was it. But no, nah, we had a good conversation. So we got to talking and I had to go because it was a line. I was like, you holding up the line. She was like, you right. But usually what I always get is the um, chicken, bacon, bread. And it's huge. It's huge. Usually I don't even eat all this. I eat half of it and I can eat the other half the next day. But I usually get the chicken. What is it? The crispy chicken branch. But it mostly got a lot in it. It got onions. I don't get the tomatoes because I really don't like tomatoes, but it got the onions, the peppers, of course the chicken, carrots, corn, cheese, it, it, just stuff. You know, it's salad. Make up your own stuff. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I get. So yeah, I'm about to eat this. I'm so hungry. Okay. So, what I'm about to do. Oh, so it is Camilla's Bachelorette weekend. And the first thing that we're doing is going to the Tony Rock comedy show. And it's gonna be at the Comedy Zone. But, um, so I just got off of work and I was like rushing. So Faith is gonna drop me off. And um, after I go to the comedy show with them, I'm gonna go on a date with my man. <laughs> like right after. So that's why I was like, dang, I gotta kinda dress up a little bit. Um, Cause I would not be going to the comedy show looking this good, okay? But yeah, so that's what we're doing. But what I really came up here to record is the fact that why did they cook hibachi? And I love hibachi. I love hibachi, y'all. I'm just so grateful for her. She's been cooking all the time. Ever since she's been here. I, and cleaning. I, the Lord knew what I needed. By the way, this is my outfit. And I got the um the brown heels on just to go with it because I had to hurry up, pick something. So we better go. By the way, Faith got a new car. Ooh. Yes. Okay, made it here to the comedy zone. To go okay. okay. Oh, yes. Give what they're looking for. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why your steps are no like your ass. <laughs> Hey, it's Rachel, how y'all doing? <laughs> 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 
juice. Sat out on the lake all day drinking beer. Don't get no better than this, brother. Oh, brother, this is living, brother. This is living. The sun started to set. They said, hey, we got to get home in town for supper. We brought the boat back. They was about to dock the boat. We about their business. Black people came out. Hey, you can't dock here. This is a private dock. You got to dock down there. This dock is private. Those white boys were offended that a black man would tell them what to do with their boat in the great state of Alabama. <laughs> Who the fuck do you talk to, black son of a bitch? I thought my boat went right down well, please, man. This is Alabama. My granddaddy built this lake. The black boy was like, no, listen, man, you don't want these fucking problems, right? You don't know what to do, man. Move the boat, man. Those white boys wanted all the smoke. They can jump on the boat. What the <laughs> I love the bathroom. I always love the bathroom. So while I'm sitting here waiting, I got this. It's a Hispanic name, I can't even say it. Or Peruvian or something, it's something. But the bartender said it was real good, so we're gonna see. I can't wait to tear these up. What's this, babe? Uh, Aqua de Argentinos. Again, I don't know what this is. But it got a flower in it. But it got a flower in it. It's cute. And my date is here. Say hey, babe. You need to say it better than that. I don't. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Faithful just made me a little snacky snack. These cheese quesadillas. So we don't think it's his. It's not. These are a bomb. But then she's also cooking. What you cooking, Faith? Um, fish tacos and regular ground beef tacos. And I'll probably do another quesadilla. Not in another quesadilla, okay. So yeah, we about to be eating good. <laughs> it's the fact that Faith is bringing me a whole thing of fish. Shredding the fish up. <laughs> she brought me the whole fish. But you know what? I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. You want the beef? Yes, I want the beef. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's just big. It's big. <laughs> maybe, maybe one is enough for us. No facts. But the taco. What if I thought it was a person? <laughs> you know, I'm like, the I was like, the boogeyman wants some. The boogeyman. Yeah, that, I was like, you know, I was really like, why is she not saying nothing about that person? So you thought if somebody was standing outside the window, I'm going to be like, Hey! I was like, why are we not talking about this? So you thought I was just gonna look like stand outside the window? 
in the backyard. I don't know, girl. What do you mean you don't know? If I screamed, y'all, this morning, I was so tired that I didn't put Serena in the cage last night. And that rarely happens. I mean, rarely. So, he was in the room. Okay. I woke up this morning. I have a basket of clothes. And you know, daylight savings now is dark in the morning. And I'm rubbing my eyes open, you know, trying to open my eyeballs. And you know, you disoriented at first. You know, you can't see. And I saw Sereno just move, like move on the clothes. And I thought it was a big tail rat, okay, a rat. And I was like, ah! yeah, <laughs> it was worse than that. I screamed, scream, I hollered. And I thought it was going to wake up faith. It didn't, thank the Lord. But I screamed so loud. And then Serena going to jump up as if he didn't just scare me. <laughs> anyway. He, he was like, why are you why are you yelling? Who's here? Who's here? It's just me. I I couldn't. I could not. Oh. Here goes the other one. Those are really good. I haven't had it yet. Here goes the other one. Got the beef one. Oh, the shredded. Dina. <laughs> shredded. Shut up. I'm just gonna give you a hamburger patty. <laughs> like, here's your oh. here's your taco. Mmm. Yeah, obviously we can always grab beef. I've never made the fish before. Mm. The fish is not bad. It's just big. Babe, you could have shredded it up. That's it. She wildin' wildin'. Okay, we gotta get back to this music. <laughs>